But uh, can I just bring in the Congress spokesperson? I'll come back to you, Shaz. I'll just give me two minutes. Let me just uh, cut across to the Congress spokesperson. Mr. Mangalam has been trying to make a point. You know, Mr. Mangalam, the fact is the BJP, whichever way you look at it, audacity, audacious, which is a great word in politics, 2024, they've kick-started their mission of Lok Sabha elections with a slew of schemes for the South. They're at least putting their money where their mouth is. They know they're weak in the South and they're doing all that they can. Piti, if they started 2019 when they came into government with an announcement of many schemes for the South, which actually hit the ground and you could see on the ground, it would be meaningful. Doing it in the election year when you're going to do nothing but make announcements and lay foundation stones is frankly meaningless, which is why, as Dr. Subhant Raman so eloquently said, the South is more about development politics. We are very clear about separation of church and state. You can wave your hand about and say as much as you want about the same goal, talk about our language within all the places you want to. What we care about is what you're going to do for our states. And that's what we haven't seen. Like I said, had this happened in 2019 or 2020, it would have meant something. All right, Shekhar Ayer, you see the language is changing. Or, you know, at least it's the beginning of that. And the BJP is going all in. But having said that, uh, you know, to put the Modi on the ticket, the prime minister on the ticket could work in the Hindi heartland because there are very few strong regional satraps and regional leaders. To do it in the south where you, you know, where there is a complete abyss in local leadership and you have the prime minister in each of these states. It hasn't quite worked. It didn't work in Karnataka. Will it work in Lok Sabha is the question. No, if, if, see, if the if uh, Modi cannot work for BJP, there is no leader in BJP who can make it work. So therefore, Modi is their best bet. And the idea is, and the Prime Minister of Modi particularly, because uh, there are leaders like Amit Shah who are keen about Hindi. But the Prime Minister feels at least this narrative should be challenged. That is why he constantly says, look, we are not imposing Hindi. We are not against Tamil. We are not against Tamil culture. I mean, the idea of Kashi Tamil is also an exercise. He knows, Prime Minister knows, this is not going to give electoral dividend. But the idea is, this effort should be made. See, in Telangana, we are talking as if, you know, BJP doesn't exist anywhere in Karnataka. In the Telangana Assembly elections, the BJP's vote share increased. And in the last Lok Sabha elections, they won four out of the 17 Lok Sabha seats from Telangana. See, the efforts will... They have made mistakes in Karnataka for which... They lost power in Karnataka. Similarly, Telangana also, in terms of organization uh, measures, they did some uh, blunders. That's why they couldn't do as well as they had originally thought. So there are mistakes that will go on. But as far as Prime Minister's approach is concerned, there are 130 seats, as you mentioned earlier. At the, at the moment, BJP doesn't have more than 30 seats. And they have to continuously make effort. Now, Kerala poses a different challenge. Kerala is a demographic challenge. Because the, the other parties are vibing for the votes of, you know, who. Now, for the BJP, has been at it for a long time. But they have not been able to make a dent in Kerala. But that doesn't mean they will give up. Mm -hmm. so and, you know, Suman, idea of, and Suman Raman, there's a point there. Because look at the push where the Christmas was concerned. There is an attempt now. It could be an eye on Kerala, but the sheer fact there are right now, you have enough from the Christian community in Kerala who come out and suggest that BJP could be a good option. Yeah, I, I mean, the BJP has consciously been wooing the Christian community in Kerala. There is no doubt about it. And we've seen multiple instances of that in the last few months. But uh, Preeti, I'm going back to Telangana. Just one correction. Uh, Mr. Ayer was probably referring to the previous assembly election in Telangana from which the BJP increased their vote share. From the Lok Sabha poll of 2019, when they won 19 plus percent in Telangana, their vote share has dropped by 6 percent to around 13 and a half percent this time. So let's be very clear the BJP has not gained in Telangana compared to 2019. Of course, obviously, the Modi factor was not there on the ticket in 2020 or 23. But the point I'm coming to is very simple. I think that. In multiple states, the BJP in the Hindi heartland, the BJP's formula is simple. These states, let's be fair, have lagged behind their southern counterparts. So to some extent, the BJP's quote-unquote developmental initiatives have also borne okay. fruit. But in the southern part of this country, where there has already been a reasonable level of development, a, the fact that the BJP has not been able to bring, at least uh, I, I know for sure in my state, they have not been able to 
demonstrably bring any big projects over okay. the last 10 years to make people sit up and right. say, look, we did this for okay. you. Shazad, you know, I'm happened. going to just take closing comments from uh, the political uh, panelists right now. Shazad, to bring you in on this, at least is there an understanding? You know, yes, the prime minister understands that till now the narrative is not what he really wanted. He's trying to course correct this. But where you look at the larger ideology of a party which is based on the RSS, uh, where the foot soldiers believe in oneness, do you see that happen in the, you know, that side of the windows at all? Firstly, let me inform you that the founder of RSS, Hedge Varji, was not born in North India. He was born in present-day Nizamabad, which is in Telangana. So how are you saying that RSS is disconnected with southern part of India? I'm not saying Most that. Most popular branches of RSS that. are Shazam. in Kerala, where they fight. No, no, let me complete. No, but I'm not saying let that. That's all I'm saying. This Please complete. artificial dis differences. Okay. Secondly, and uh, Mr. Sumansi Raman has contradicted himself. He says that the issue here is that we have already done so much development, so BJP's development narrative have no takers here. But then why do the parties of the South constantly talk about Hindu bashing, Hindutva bashing, Sanatan bashing? If development is the issue here, then why is Udayanidhi's talent to Parmeshwar, to Khadge's son, all of them bashing Hindu, Hindu Hinduism and Sanatan all the time? So are they, have they got nothing to show on developmental front? By the way, Karnataka, till the time a BJP government was in place, was attracting highest FDI. Now we know what is the position and status of Karnataka. In the last few months, we are seeing what is happening. And we are also seeing yeah. the kind of rowdiness that is going on on the streets of Karnataka and what kind of impression it is creating. But having said that, one last statement, because Preeti, you said this. You said that Amit Shah insisted on usage of Hindi. He said Hindi should be used as a replacement of English. Is English a language that comes uh, naturally? to India and this Isn't is the constitutional okay. let me, let me, founders let me, who wanted English Let me ask you a question, Shazad, where the South of India is concerned, does English come one easier second, than one Hindi? One second, second, Preeti. Preeti, let me complete. It's a question I I'm asking you. Let me you. complete. I'll, let me complete. It's a, it's a question, you complete, but let me also I'm answering question. your question. In the South of India, is English an easier language than Hindi? Question, Shazad. It the is. Prime Minister speaks in English. He doesn't okay. speak in Hindi now when he addresses and when he addresses the people of Tamil Nadu. He's, he he uses English. I've heard, your, I've heard and understood your question. I have heard and understood your question. All I'm asking is that when the constitution makers wanted that English should be replaced and then Hindi should take over, were they not conscious of which language is simpler? And are you saying that using of Hindi above English is something that would offend somebody because uh, Hindi is not in competition with a local language or an Indic language? But why are you so concerned that your language should be English as a link language? We are not talking about the language as a whole. We have promoted mother tongue in NEP, but I am saying as a link language, why are you against an Indic language being used? Why shouldn't the link language be, say, Tamil? Why shouldn't the link language be Gujarati? Why shouldn't the link so, language exactly, be English? Why exactly. link language should Shazad, be English? I am not against anyone. What Shazad, is the this fascination is the you have I with Queen's language? It was a quote. Hey, Priti, so why then you should, it's then a you quote. should not portray that Amit Shah said that Hindi, Hindi should be Shazad, imposed on nobody, nobody is against Shazad, any language. Said. This was a quote at Shazad. one point of time. And it was only, and I only used it to elucidate you quoted, nothing else. No, no, let me correct your quote. You there's a quoted disconnect. Partially, you there's quoted a disconnect Home Minister with, partially. The, with South of India. You That's connect, all. You quoted, it, was, it was for a debate point. That's Preeti, it. Preeti, maybe you made an error. I haven't maybe made any error. Made I can error. report you. Preeti, maybe you made an <laughs> error. You said, one, one second, I'll, let me tell you, you what you, let trap. me tell you what you said. You can play He's it out. Your producers can play it out. You said, that Amit Shah ji has said that Hindi should be made national language. This is your quote unquote. Can I quote? Now, can you can I quote it? Okay, Shazad, I don't want to get into a debate with you, but I will quote again because I have it right in front of me. Right? You and because he, you quote Amit us said, back all Hindi the time, Shazad, language. now allow me. Because, he said that it should because be you quote me back all the time from India Today website, that you quote his, me back from the India Today website, I would hope, you have I would hope that you, you will have enough faith in a document that I'm quoting from the India Today archives. Now I will quote again, sir, and let it be the end of that. The then Prime Minister should, speaking on National Hindi in Day in New Delhi exactly on September 14th emphasized the need for Hindi to be made the common language of the country. It was necessary, Shah said, to have one language you which could represent language. India and the world. You this is all language. I said. Closing comments, 
uh, Congress spokesperson, let's go, and then you we're going to quickly national close. Language. Repeat the tape. She Ask your producer to play your tape. Sir, I have just quoted you from our own archives, which you quote all the time, Shahzad. He never said that. I have, okay. Mr. Uday Mahurkar has okay. filed this copy, sir. I, I hope you know Mr. Uday Mahurkar. I allow you, All right. I allow you to backtrack. But I'm not backtracking. Okay. Uh, I'll just and I don't allow you to derail this debate. I don't allow you to derail this debate, sir. All right, okay, Kumar. Okay, Mr. Mangalam, closing comments and then we're going to quickly You've just been exposed trying to put a word which is not there. You've been exposed, Sir, I have quoted you twice. Why are you going on trying to derail this debate? I'm not going to allow you. All right, Mr. Mangalam, go ahead. You said Pidhi, national language. That. They said, Pidhi, please mute his mic. This is getting ridiculous. He spends half the debate attacking you so he can get more airtime. Please don't let this happen again. Second, I just want to make two quick points. One, Tamil Nadu and the South, but chiefly is about performance, not platitudes. BJP seems to be mostly okay. about platitudes, wherever it goes. Second, this right. state specifically. All right, okay. Mr. Mangalam, you're going to come right back.